Guys, in addition to the three workouts we have for the 2013 Garden State Open, we'll have two floating workouts. Each of these workouts will be weighted at 50% of the other workouts that we did. All right, so we've got three full workouts, and then we've got two floating workouts that pretty much equal a fourth workout for you. Um, the floating workouts will need to be completed after your first event and prior to your third event. Okay, they can't be done before your first event, and it can't be done after your third event. So you will have to figure out time during the day between your heats to go and do these workouts. And we'll have judges at these stations all day for you to be able to complete the workouts. The first workout, floating workout, and again, they don't, they don't have to be done in order, but one out of the two will be a run sprint. Okay, longer than 100 meters, less than 1,000 meters. You will find out on the day of, but it will be a run sprint. Okay, the other floating workout will be a max rep bench press. These are unbroken reps, meaning you cannot re-rack the weight. Men's RX, 155 pounds. Women's RX, 105 pounds. Men's scaled, 115 pounds. Women's scaled, 75 pounds. Again, this is max bench press, unbroken reps, right? full extension of the arm, weight touching the chest on each rep. Uh, you can rest the weight for as long as you want on the chest. You can just not re-rack that weight. All right, so these are um, the two floating workouts that, again, each of them is weighted at 50% of what the other workouts are worth. All right, guys, so we have our bench press floating wad standards video now. First off, the grip for the bench press, what we are requiring is that that pinky is inside of the first marker on the bar. So, that pinky, that's as wide as can go, that first line on the barbell. Once you unrack that barbell, you start your max set repetitions. Bar must touch the chest, elbows locked at the top. Feet can move around, that's fine. If the butt comes off of the bench at any point, that will be a no rep. You can continue to bench press after that as long as you get that butt down. You can rest wherever you want, top of the bench press or on the chest. If you re-rack the bar at any point, that ends your set.